I'm Kelsey Wolf. And I'm Candace Frank. Nearly 20 workshops. I love being in front of the camera. <laughs> I also like being an advocate, which media has allowed me to do. Hello, may I speak to Mayor Powell? Yay has really given me the opportunity to help me discover some talents that I really didn't know I had. Thanks for joining us. Good night. For Candace, the focus is media literacy. My own grandmother died from smoking. For these eighth graders at Normandy Middle School, it turned into something totally, completely different. Yay provides an unforgettable lesson in civic engagement. We forgot we were in a classroom. We thought we were in a real city hall. But we really did, and it was absolutely a breathtaking experience. I really enjoyed it. The Yay curriculum encourages students to engage in critical thinking what is your that enables them to confront issues in their own communities. Yay sent a team of students to the Anti-Tobacco Youth Summit in Jefferson City, not just to attend the summit, but to cover it as journalists. Other Missouri elected officials joined students today to hear about new tobacco products. It really means a lot to the state of Missouri to have uh, uh, you all leading the way. and. Uh, Feel free to twist the arms of a few senators and representatives when you're down there, too. We don't have a media anything in our school. Without Ye, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to really get exposed to media in the way that I did through Ye. The Ye curriculum takes civics out of the textbook and makes it real. Don't be fooled. Students use media to create their own messages that can help make a difference in their schools and communities. Every day, approximately 4,000 kids try their first cigarette. Will you be a statistic? I really liked it because it brought together positive choices as well as the you know, objectives that I need to cover with persuasion and media literacy. And I, I just love the combination because I think, obviously, we live in a society where it's very easy to make bad choices and it's very easy and we're, we're surrounded by media all the time and influences our thinking. So I think it really opens students' eyes to what messages they're being given in general, but then also had the, you know, character lesson of not smoking and, and made them more aware. It's been the best relationship that I could have asked for. Okay. Yay helped theater teacher Dwayne Foster turn his Normandy Middle School classroom into a simulated city council meeting. Um, general public, anyone would like to speak? The issue, a proposal to ban smoking in restaurants. It felt really good because we felt that we actually had a voice that we could say something about these things. Initially, it was from an academic point of view, like, oh, we're trying to satisfy our theater teacher. And then it turned into an emotional, personal level when kids started really realizing they were debating something that was actually happening here in America or all over the world. People are being affected by smoke. It didn't feel like we were just putting on a skit, it felt real. So it became a real debate, which is what we really needed to have, a real constructive debate. The best part was learning the political process. It's really motivated me to be more of a public speaker, to talk about issues, and to be more involved. 